welcome back to Talk Footy to Me. Uh, today we are touching in on an interesting topic as we enter the winter. It's getting a little colder outside, clubs are going to be training less, and players are not going to have as much things to do. So if you can't find yourself inside of Soccer Speed training with one of us, we're going to give you guys some ideas on what to do, and also even clubs on some ways to maximize your space uh, from what we do in tight spaces. But first, we're adding a new segment called the Two Minute Dump. Over with Atta. Welcome to the first installment of the weekly football dump. Every podcast episode will now feature a two minute summary of the past week's games. It would be impossible to really cover everything in 120 seconds. You guys know me as the resident yapper, but I'm not Busta Rhymes. I'll do my best. Freeze. Someone get their stopwatch Dude, is, ready. Is this guy going? Or are you starting? No, I'm starting. Started yet. Stop okay, I was like, I was going to say, that was so slow. But you're going to start now. Okay. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me Wait. catch my breath here. Mulan soundtrack or Hercules soundtrack? Oh, what about the Let's not worry about the soundtrack. Let me try to get through this. Okay. You ready? Huh? Now I am ready. Go. All right, you say go. Go. Galatasaray, my heart and soul, nabbed an easy 2-1 win against Besiktas in the Turkish Super League, extending their unbeaten start to the campaign. Ten games, nine wins, one tie. Just before the Istanbul Derby, we, yes, we, grabbed an exciting win in the Europa League against Elfsborg. Momentarily putting us atop the league table, Galatasaray is the most successful team in Turkish history. We have no rivals. Some wild stuff last week in the English Premier League. Liverpool came from behind to beat Brighton, while all the other heavyweights dropped points. Arsenal losing away to Newcastle, clearly going through a shaky period. Manchester City the most shocking, losing away to Bournemouth. Chelsea threw Manchester United a sympathy point. Speaking of United, <laughs> wish they kept Ten Hag. La Liga is interesting. Barcelona slapped the life out of Real Madrid two game weeks ago, giving more credence to the statement that Hansi Flick is a managerial genius. Mbappe, as Gen Zers would say, is giving flop. He doesn't seem to fit in at the moment. Antoine Griezmann of Atletico Madrid is still the most handsome man in the world. Nothing else in La Liga matters. In Serie A, leaders Napoli got violated at home to Atalanta 3-0. The rest of the league caught up. Milan and Juve still struggling. Inter is Inter. The most exciting news in Serie A is that Mario Balotelli, a man the streets will never forget, signed with Genoa. In the Bundesliga, sadly, Bayern are back on top. Leverkusen stumbling, a far cry from the invincible season they had last year. Only thing worth covering is my personal player to watch, Chris Führig at Stuttgart, absolute baller and hunter. No clue what's going on in the MLS. I don't watch it and don't care to. Don't at me. Let's close out with European football. Shocking by Manchester City, losing 4-1 away to Sporting Lisbon yesterday. Who would have thought that such a star-studded team is so reliant on a player like Rodri? Also, AC Milan stealing three points with three goals away to Madrid, furthering Madrid's confusion. That's all I care to review in Europe. What I want to discuss is a new format for the Champions League, Europa League, and Conference League. It has undoubtedly taken some of the magic out of midweek European nights during the group stages of past. There are certainly some big fixtures and exciting games, but why fix what's not broken? There is something so special about the six group games, four teams per group, one home and one away against each. Substantial changes to such storied tradition hurts my bleep damn feelings a bit. With that, let's wipe up, I mean wrap up, the weekly dump. Until next time. 209. Ah! You're kidding. <laughs> Two minutes, nine oh, seconds. dude, I had it at 159. Yeah, you started a little slow. Did I? Yeah. Fudge. Fudge. Uh, fudge. Question, though. <laughs> Ooh, oh, I'm out of breath. Oh, Bellatelli's still in the league? He, General, he yeah. just signed. Yeah, he just yeah. signed. How long has he been, like, I thought he was retired. He was in, no, like, he was in Turkey for a couple years. Yeah. So, um, quick story about that. My, uh, one of my best friends, Ryan, shout out Ryan. Uh, what well, you want that over there? Um, he is a huge Mario Balotelli fan, and Balotelli was in Turkey. I had a friend who knew the club's owner of uh, <coughs> that club he was at in Turkey. Got a signed Mario Balotelli jersey, sent it to him. What? Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. That's awesome. And he scored uh, like a Pushkash goal in Turkey two years ago. He did eight scissors, took it to his left, and then Rabona into the bottom corner. You guys should watch that. YouTube that clip. It's insane. That's wild. 209, man. I missed it. You did. Dang it. You did, sir. Sorry, guys. It's supposed to be two minutes. We're upset. All right. <laughs> uh, did you want to touch on Man U there? You, you talked on them a little bit. You got <laughs> Manchester United. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of sad they got rid of Ten Hag. It was very uh, entertaining, you know, how bad they were. <laughs> uh, I don't have a team in England. I used to like Jose Mourinho. Don't anymore. Won't explain why. But when he first took over at Chelsea, I was like, yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea. But lately, Liverpool. 
Yeah, and that's, that's your team, right? Yeah. Why, why is it your team? Why is Liverpool my team? Yeah. So, um, one, going there and watching the game was absolutely unbelievable. Oh, yeah? Yep. Okay. Uh, it was probably one of the best experiences to watch a game. It was the people in the town took care of us, like went to yeah. a bar, local bar. I felt like I was a part of the team going to a local bar as opposed to being like the outcasted American. Yeah. Brought us in. We were part of the fam. It was dope. It was amazing. Yeah. And then uh, Champions League. Wait, when was this? Was this uh, pre-Klopp or? Yeah, pre-Klopp. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And uh, no, during the struggle years. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. During yeah. the struggle when years. They were yeah. fielding like. Yeah, like uh, struggle. And I, I don't mind. I didn't mind that. I so like, <laughs> it was And it was beautiful. It was like, you know, and they were a hardworking team. It was just like a, it reminded me more of how I played as a kid like it was just guys that were just like hard nosed meat and, and potatoes yeah just meat and potatoes and I, yeah. I love that and so it was yeah and now it's grown to this and I, it's even better <laughs> alright let's lost. talk about club training we'll start with the club training in these cold ass places in the north because y'all people in the south you can just train freaking yeah. forever um, so <laughs> the average club schedule is two days of training in the winter right most yes. are two days of training yeah uh, one maybe game or something, or maybe a weight room session or whatever. Usually do like a weight session. Yeah, um, I haven't gone and watched. Have you guys gone and watched a club training in the last like ten years? No. Yeah. No. no. Maybe the segment won't be as beneficial as. Uh... We can presume based on uh, the level of the players that come and work with us, where they're at, or what it's like in club. And we True. do get a lot of our players telling us what those environments are like. Yeah. Like. We'll finish a session. They'll be like, we've never done any of this. Passing, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Soccer. <laughs> we play cards. Sports. <laughs> we play sports. Yeah. The reason we say sports so much is because sometimes we don't know what you guys are doing because it's not soccer. <laughs> so we just say sports. Yeah. It's sports. Um, yeah, so what do you guys think? If we're on a – honestly, this is kind of like a curriculum thing. I mean – Oh, you just you like this? Yeah, I know you do. Yeah. Um, but like, if you're planning out the winter, right? Say you got like twelve weeks, mm -hmm. or you just got two trainings a week. What are you doing? Like, I I feel like there's a lot of clubs. Like some clubs, it's like, oh, you're just gonna cycle like like one of those days, just like you're just scrimmaging the whole day or something. And I'm like, to to make it not sound like an ad for us, you got to find a way to train. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I'm just saying, like, I like I want to break down like the actual club environment. Like, oh, what are you oh, for? Like, what you I'm asking see? for like if if okay from um, a you know a club director that could listen to this or something. Oh yeah. Being like, what would our advice be for what a club should do that we have yeah no <laughs> reason to speak on, but we just want to talk about it because. I mean, the things that I did with Chicago Magic as a kid. Um, it was like Wednesdays was a uh, kind of like a like a club wide training session. We'd be in like a bubble in the bubble, right? And they'd be like, you know, your team had a certain section of the bubble, and you'd have there was a fitness station, there was a technical station, there was the play the station where you had like five v five and six v sixes, um, and then like a tactical station where you were working on like you know your corner kicks and things like that. So like there was teams in there just working and going. And, like, there wasn't time to mess around. If you messed around, you went straight to the fitness station again yeah. by yourself with another team, and you ran. Jeez. And, like, it was like clockwork. They brought us in. They had a group of coaches, at, a coach at every station, and it just moved. Yeah. And, like, there was no time to, like, Now, was this, joke. like, different age groups? Different all age groups. In the same different yeah. age groups all in the same okay. area. So if you weren't paying attention, you might get smoked in the face by a, yeah. a guy who's, like, 19 smoking a shot <laughs> and just missing the goal. Yeah. But, like, it kind of woke you up and, like, you were just, I don't know, the, the environment was, to me, was very intense. And you were in and out of there in, like, an hour and 15, an hour and, th an hour and a half. But it was high-intensity training for that hour and a half and like there was no messing around there was no time to like talk you know enough so it was like it was very intense and, and it made us better players because you were you were working at that that level um the higher levels so i mean i think that we're sounds forgetting. more efficient to have like all the age groups yeah or yeah. like and an then, unreasonable well it's maximizing we also trained yeah. right. we yeah. also trained uh so like you had your two i think it was two days of training we had a week and then it was we had games on the weekends or games during the week, and we have specific league on the weekends that was club based league. Yeah. So they would take three age groups, and it was the top teams of those three age groups, and they would just mix the kids together. Yeah. And so you had your schedule, 
you saw the players that were on your team from the different age groups and like the older players had to like understand how to play with younger players and how to guide them and the younger players just had to play up to the level of the older players yeah. and it was like again high intensity and we played that on like a tennis court it wasn't even on like a regular it was like hard tennis court so if you got bulldozed over by a big dude it didn't matter you got up and you kept playing and I think that that like it, you know, it built just that grit that hardness of you I think so. the piece you're actually speaking to more is mixed age groups. Yeah. And I feel like that actually doesn't happen as much anymore. Uh, yeah. yeah, I guess yeah. I mean I, I guess it's because people are afraid to have the, you know, players get injured, but in reality I think players are, are good enough not to go in and just crunch people. Like I think they're smart enough. I think we need to trust our players a little bit more to like have that, you know. I don't know what, I'm, what word I'm looking for, but like have that in them to say like, hey, I'm not going to crunch a player that's three years younger than me, but I'm yeah. going to like learn how to play with them and like, yeah. you know, and also it's like intuition. And guess, the, the younger players have to understand and know if you get yelled at by an older player, suck it up and just take it. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, like you, you're not up to that level yet. You should be okay with getting instruction regardless of how it's being told to you. Like, so they're telling you that you're, it's not good that's enough. It's not point. good enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's okay to be like yelled at by a player who's older than you as long as they're giving you the right instructions and telling you what you need to do. Then try to do it. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you know, that's how we're going to build the success. We can't be so like fragile with you know your own egos to say like, oh, well that guy yelled at me and I think I'm doing great. And it's like, well, in that player's eyes, you're not doing great. So figure out why. I feel like a piece that was great during our generation, I mean, at least I like I felt it, was having the older players rip you a new one in a constructive way that's also teaching you what you're supposed to do next, not just the, like, oh, this guy sucks. Like, why is yeah. he on my team? Like, mm -hmm. oh, just get him off yeah. my Like, this guy sucks. Like, yep. I mean, I remember, like, shout out David Abador. Um, like, that I was man. I on the phone with him. What? I was just on the phone with him. Yeah, I ran in. He almost hit me with his car <laughs> in West Loop trying to, like, wave me down. He, like, <laughs> drove onto the sidewalk and was yeah. like, dude, I just talked to um, Couldn't remember your name. Yeah. And I was just like, <laughs> he was like, yeah. I'll call you about so, it. I was like, don't call me about it. Call him this about is, it. This is totally off topic. Um, as soon as we got on the phone, he told me that he knows Dooley, which is nicknamed for one of my, like, close, like, longtime friends um, and teammates who's from L.A., who we were freshman uh, roommates together at Wisconsin. Who we got pen pal with Young High in North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that took a turn. I was like, wait, what? I was like, <laughs> like whoa, this took a turn. Yeah, yeah No, yeah. but, anyway. like, Abador during Bridges, because I was a freshman in college when I started going to Bridges, and he was a junior, I think. He's two years older than me. Um, and I remember, like, I got put on his team for one game, and he just, like, like, after we had lost a game and it was my fault, he oh, like pulled yeah. me over to the side and he was like, he was actually so nice, even though it's like at Bridges, like you don't want to lose. No. It was like, he was so nice, but he was like, 30 minutes. he was like, Hey, you're going to set off next. But he's like, watch how I do this and this and how I position myself. And he's like, you're going to set out the whole game. And he's like, I, and you're just going to watch me. And then he was like, We'll talk about it when I come back out. That's and I was very like, nice. and I'm like, dude, like I, like yeah, I wanted to play, but it's like, dude, I, he helped me learn so much. And if he ever asked me, and he won't listen to this, so it's fine. But like, <laughs> if he ever asked we'll me, like, <laughs> like if anything, I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> um, even though he played way higher than I did, but like, you know, it's fine. Um, but no, I feel like kids now, it's like, kids just get so pissed at each other so quick, and it's like, dude, he sucks. Get him off the field. He yeah. sucks. And it's like, hey, how, how about you help him learn what to do instead? And I feel like there's not as much of that anymore. Like, Yeah, I mean, there was, there was both sides of it, though. There was dudes that be in your face and tell you you sucked. And, like, your coaches were a part of that, too, that were in your face telling you you sucked. And, like, you just had to – but also, at that moment, if you did suck – Sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you, just, you just had to deal with it. You just had to be like, yeah. okay, I'm not playing well enough. How do I fix it in your mind? Like, don't get me wrong. I don't think that's the right way to go about it. But I do think that, like, you know, the constructive criticism, regardless, of, if they're yelling in your face and they're telling you what to do properly, you got to just deal with it and understand it. Like, sometimes it's not going to be that conversation where you can pull you to the side. If we're on the field together and I got to get your attention from across the field, I got to get you to come back and you're not coming back, if I yell at you, get back. Or we're fighting during when we go off the field, like like genuinely. So as I think players need to understand that little piece of the game to to be more successful. 
to get back to topic real quick, I have one thing to add. We didn't mix uh, age groups um, when I was in club, and that's the only kind of experience I can draw on in regards to the topic. Um, I thought that's a great idea. I think you can kind of efficiently use time and space and stuff, but uh, I do remember practices being mostly um, competitive drills. That's how I felt like we got the most out of ourselves because then we're just going 110% the whole time. Yeah. So one-on-ones to goal, small-sided games to goal. Um, if you have the whole space, then scrimmages. Um, and that doesn't necessarily, um, you know, focus on specific technical skills and whatnot. Mm. But um, I am going to lose my mind that I keep hearing stuff in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Uh, like but yeah, yeah. So... Uh, welcome, Day. Please, everybody. Um, she's new to soccer speed. Uh, but we were talking about <coughs> training in the winter, and we just finished talking about clubs. Now we're going to talk about the players by themselves. This is dealing with in cold environments, so nothing you dealt with growing up. Um, California kids. <laughs> um, is uh, What do we recommend to kids? to do at home on their own when it's cold outside. Take uh, your ass outside. Yeah. It's hey. not that cold. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> unless it's below zero degrees, put clothes on, go outside. Period. And, and you will, in doing that, because not everybody has space at home, but you will, in doing that, be doing something that your competitors are not and you will be getting better and you'll figure out how to do the same things with the ball when it feels like a rock uh, and the ground is firm as heck and the conditions are terrible you'll mentally develop the ability to perform in like any range of conditions it's it's imperative just go outside a little bit of discomfort you know you're cold for five seconds and you warm up and dude i used to take a shovel it's not like two feet i take a shovel be like i'm practicing free kicks from here i'm gonna shovel a line here so i can dribble down and shoot and then you go jog you get it you do it again there's no excuses you know you unless yeah chase last winter he texted me when he was home from img and he just goes yo let's go train at the the field by your house i'm like hell yeah it snowed a foot last night he said i got a shovel we good yeah i was like all right, fine. But then we get there, and this man looks like looks at me and goes, "Here's a shovel." I said, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm like, no, nah, buddy, no, nah, buddy." Yeah. You ever watch Karate Kid? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Take the shovel. Yeah. Shoveled it off the turf. We shoveled off like maybe the amount of the, like that size of the couch, because he just That's couldn't do need. anymore. And then he was just like yeah. passing. And then he was like, "Oh, let's just rip some shots." And I'm like. You've been out here for five minutes. Your hammy, done. Dude, ripping oh. shots on a freezing ball is pain. Yes. It's absolute pain. But you know that if you're willing to do it, you also yeah. are just a little bit different. Yeah. Oh, and if you want to practice bicycle kicks, the snow is perfect. <laughs> I'm, hey, a little bit of cushion. Hot. A little bit of cushion. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I, I think that the, what we're ultimately trying to say is just break past that limit, right? So if, you're a, if you think it's too cold outside... And dear God, no! <laughs> it's too cold outside, and you think it's oh, it's gonna be freezing, and like I can't move or move around when it's cold outside. You gotta just do it, right? Because you're gonna play games when it's like 30 degrees out. You're gonna play games when it's snowed before, right? And they'll play these games where it's rainy and uncomfortable. If you're used to it, and other teams aren't, you might have that upper edge. But if you're walking in the same level as other teams because you haven't endured it, like you're gonna suffer. You're gonna struggle with it. Cold, cold, rainy night in Stoke. Yeah. Yeah. Day. <laughs> um, well, this is a newer concept to me because being from Southern California, snow has never been an issue. Yeah. Or shoveling or not being able to train outside during the winter. Yeah. Um, That's enough. Um, <laughs> 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 but ash has been an issue. Dude, right. w- winters, like, winters in... Ash. That's a whole different thing as well. Like, if you go out and it's like the wildfires have come. <laughs> well, that's unhealthy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta do it. It's like, yeah. That's when the real N95 yeah. masks <laughs> got used. <laughs> like, we had to trade in that stuff all the time. You go out to Chula Vista and it's already, you know. Oh, yeah. Dude, dude the, the, U- the U.S. facilities yeah. you have down there are, oh, my God. 
Top notch. Oh my and god. I actually I played <laughs> against uh, Cholos, the TJ team, yeah. the Mexican league. I played against them at the US facility there. Oh, yeah. We we uh, we did zero zero with their uh, reserve side first half and I, I hit the post and then their first team came in second half five zero five zero dude five zero I was dude, like oh sick was hitting that post <laughs> oh but it was like the only good thing that we did the, the entire ninety yeah and I turn around I'm just like looking around I'm like well <laughs> this is about as good as it gets for me <laughs> uh anyway yes the Southern California it, even in the winter dude the worst it got in San Diego was like at night like 50 yeah. it feels chilly you just put on a, a hoodie like that yeah. during the day like there's maybe two three weeks of rain though the past two winters have been horrible i hear i heard with like precipitation and stuff um yeah so she definitely didn't have that problem uh no yeah you've changed <laughs> but do you, do you train outside now like when it gets cold do you have any problems her team doesn't have practice if it rains out I mean, oh, are you serious? Paul's, that's his girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, I wasn't going to bring it up. If she, when she listens to this, she's rolling in your ass, not mine. Yeah, and you know what? He has final it say day. over what it makes it in. It wasn't so me. Stop talking to the mic. He, he has final say about what makes it into the podcast. We don't see a clip until it's all ready to go, and then he sends us the ones he likes. So no, like can he'll, he can design it so that it. Seb, Seb does it all. Seb, Seb actually does I want it all that now. Clip. Seb, yeah. I want that clip right there. <laughs> hey, hey, one day we should set up a camera filming Seb filming us. Because <laughs> I, yeah. I want to see his reactions because we say some wild stuff. Yeah. 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 Even then, being here though, like college type, we have facilities, so I feel like yeah. we're inside when yeah. it's yeah. cold. Yeah. You guys got good facilities. Um, all right. Uh, who wants to, to do the quick plug on why you should train with us in the winter? Why you should train with us in the winter? Yeah, what do we do? How do we make you better? <sighs> okay, so Soccer Speed itself is here to work on your technical ability. All right? Our idea behind this game is to make sure you are as technically sound as possible. So when you step onto that pitch, whether it be your practice or your actual games, mainly your practices, because like with your teams, it's there to get your brain thinking ahead of everything that you do. If you're not technically sound and you step out in the field and you're not thinking ahead, it's the game's just too hard for you. It becomes too slow. We, what we're trying to do is develop the mind and the body to prepare itself for, for any type of situation. That's why I think players should come through here, get some touches on the ball, and figure out how to be technically sound so you're comfortable out there so that when your, your coach is working, you do something specifically tactical, you're able to do it and do it quickly and not have to think about it because you've had technical, technical ability to handle that. Nice. I, have a, I have a piece to add. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Do yours. And it's also why you need to do those things. So there's knowledge of the skills, of the drills, the movements, the surfaces of the foot, the type of pass, uh, the touches that you take. And then there's intelligence. There's taking all that knowledge and drawing lines between the dots. So in a game, you know what to do next based on why you're doing something in that moment. All moving pieces, all the time, connecting the dots, connecting the dots, connecting the dots. So getting you technically sound, thinking ahead, like Cueva said. And we do talk through those things at times. What pe players need to understand. And sometimes you see like, hey, you're a fantastic player. Why can't you do this one thing? You explain why. And then all of a sudden, bam, they're able to do it. Totally and we tough. love seeing that. We love seeing that. You got a long text. Yeah. I did? Yeah. It's everything How do you know? I just saw your watch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, was we're being serious here, man. <laughs> come train. Come train with us, please. I was looking too. Hey, and come come to come to the basement in is it Glenview? Yeah. Come to the basement, Glenview Tuesday morning during the day? No, when that's when you it? don't want to come. It's Tuesday morning. You want to come Tuesday to, night. I, I went to the basement for the first time last night, and my God, I felt like a kid again. I'm talking. How long is it? It's about 80 yards. 50 yards. 50, 50 yards. Yards. Felt, felt like 120 it feels yards. Feels a lot longer, yeah. And I was. I'm talking about. I hit maybe 150 balls. It was 175 full. earlier. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, it's the number varies based on how I feel. 100 <laughs> percent on the right foot. Just absolute crackers. It was so fun. That's right. why you should come train. It's fun. It's fun, too. It's fun. We have a good time. Yeah. Don't we, Day? Yes. <laughs> Just like a gun to our head. <laughs> yeah. 
Thanks for having me today. Yeah. All right, on to our last segment, which is a new segment called Hat Trick. I thought of that idea. Mm. I discussed it with my girlfriend. <laughs> nice. Brownie points. Nice. <laughs> no, I'm just going to be like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the doghouse way. But how this works is <clears throat> we all get three choices. All right, we cannot overlap choices. Oh, boy. All right. And so there's a different topic each time. This is really all I was going to have you in for was this five-minute segment to welcome you in. But here you are, a little bit longer anyways. Would Nick go last so she has nothing to choose? No, no, no. It's, it's a snake draft. Oh, okay. What does that mean? It means one, we go two, one, 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 two, two, two. Oh, okay. 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 So I learned something new. Um, what we're doing here is uh, so we each get three <laughs> choices. All right. It's our top three. And it's just okay. pizza places. Oh. Oh. I all right. Know so yeah. you can't you can't use what somebody else has used. All right. And you can like this is very broad to start, but I'm going to say this is for pizza that is either getting delivered or pick up. You're not it's not sitting down. So like not really like Giordano's like you're not really you know what I'm saying. So that's kind of the topic. Ooh. OK, so I got a nice plug. Take it how you will. Uh, uh, day, you can start it off. Okay, okay. Uh, whatever you think your favorite pizza place is. And if you want to use some Carly chain, like, <laughs> go right ahead. I don't know about any pizza places in Cali. Oh, okay, because, <laughs> no, no, because no. of the shots that have been fired today, we all know Reed was the worst earlier. It's true. And that's why he's not here. <laughs> yeah, hey, Reed, hold on. Before you start, Reed, you were so mean to me today. <laughs> huh? I always show you love and affection. You were so mean to me today. And we're going to be in Barrington all winter together. Be ready. Please. I'm going to go Rosati's. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. I'm going to go with uh, Kraft Pizza in Wicker Park. Interesting. Jets. Ooh, that's good. Uh, okay, so I get two here. So I got Papa Savario's. All right, that's quality. Um, and then... Do you guys consider Lou's as delivery? You just said delivery. Geos. You can get delivery. Yeah, but Geo's is like sit down. Lou's. You literally order Geo's. All right, whatever. You know what? Fine. Okay, I'll pick a second one. I'll pick a second one. Um, oh, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. <clears throat> oh. Pizza Hut. <laughs> but but it's the it's the no one out pizzas the hut. Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pizza and breadsticks combo. Where it's all in the one box, and you get like the sweet breadsticks, no, no, and you get the regular breadsticks and the pizza. Right, I used you, to get those at IG camps all see, the time. I'm gonna show my age right now. If you would have said the, the Pizza Hut pizza that you got for reading books in first grade, or something, <laughs> that's the one right there. When you read like a certain amount of books, you get a free pizza. That's what? Wild. A free personal pan pizza. For wow. Books. Whatever you win. It was so good. Yeah. You're not gonna out pizza the hut, bro. All right, go ahead. <laughs> uh, you guys don't know this, but. Uh, <laughs> kind of don't don't cut that out. <laughs> uh, Gallucci in Old Town. Yeah, uh, went there recently with the uh, uh, the girlfriend. Um, beautiful margarita pizza. I could have had like I I just want you Is could put delivery? it you could load it into a blender, blend it and Is drink it. Delivery? It. Uh, no. Remember no. when we were just talking about like what you would get delivered? I don't remember, but it's probably with the, the look on <laughs> your face. Remember when I just said he was autistic? Okay. <laughs> so you pick it up or delivery, right? Yeah, pick up or deliver. I'm sure they. Pick up. No. Uh, All right. It, well, it's a, any place you can pick up. Anywhere you, you can, can go and eat a pizza. You can't do huh? that. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Damn. Your rules are shiny. <laughs> okay, fine. Keep going. Keep yeah, going. Yeah. Paula and Monica's in the city. It's delicious. My parents, my my dad, and my mom would drive all the way up from Aurora to go to that. Wow. Place. So that good, yeah, good for pizza, oh. huh? Mm -hmm. Insert own this. Mm -hmm. I gotta think of the five. Um, Domino's. Yeah, the garlic crust. Yeah, I mean. I do like the crust. Yeah, the, it's the crust. It's all the crust. It's all oh, crust. I got a good one. Please, on, please pause. don't take. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Domino's. Yes. Terrible story. Real quick. Okay. Two weeks ago. I have a really bad domino story. Too. Okay, two weeks ago. Yeah. Two weeks ago, I get a text. Oh, I got two pizzas. Like, we'll be good for dinner tonight, type of thing. Oh, and all I said was, Where's it from? It was from Domino's. We didn't eat pizza that night. It's 
all I'm saying. You you didn't eat it, or you ate it did and not. it's bad? Did not eat yeah, it. Did not eat it. I mean, it's a sus decision. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. I just, I just, it's it's just not good. It's not. Right? It's the I know it's so good, but it's the subway. Okay, so you're gonna say Domino's or Hot and Ready? Huh? Hot Caesars, little Caesars. Little Caesars. Yeah, which one? If each were over five dollars, they're both five dollars. Oh, Domino's all day. I'm eating Domino's. It's good. Okay. It tastes good, but it's it's like it's not. It's just. Go. <laughs> yeah, go. I'm getting triggered. I'm getting triggered, dude. All right, all right, keep going. Keep going. Uh, Nancy's Pizza. Bro, you're going like OG spots. Yeah, you're doing like you're original place. No, you like you asked me. Whatever. You made the rules, bro. You don't come here. I I, I've got, I, I've got the best one. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. And maybe we don't have access to it anymore. But this wins this mother effing game. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese pizza was made out of cardboard. <laughs> I don't care. And dead rats. It was <laughs> the <laughs> best pizza ever, they, dude. Their meat was raccoon angle. Well, right. I didn't get Tell just me. cheese. Okay. Just I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna beat all of you. I'm gonna beat all Chucky of you. Right Chucky Cheese! No, 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 no. Charles Entertainment <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> yes, true. <laughs> okay. Casey's Taco Pizza. Never heard of that. Casey's the, the, the gas, gas station. station. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're going into uh, and my two hot dogs before games is a problem. Something. You're eating pizza from a gas station. This is, this is how anthrax spread because he's getting oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is West Nile virus over here. <laughs> Dude. Was it the swine flu in yeah, yeah, 2008? Yeah. yeah, dude, you gotta try it. Bologna Dominoes. Huh? Bologna Dominoes. Bologna Dominoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Personalities coming out over there. <laughs> Look yeah. out. <laughs> okay, it's it's funny. So we're getting to know Day, and the shots from Day are silenced. She's got she's got a silencer on her shots. It's like. It, you know, you could throw that in his face, but you were like, but he won't eat Domino. Yep. <laughs> right behind the knee, right? Here. Imagine, yeah, yeah, exactly. imagine uh, how Reed Reed was today. Imagine Reed sitting next to her oh, right dude. now, how Reed was this morning. Reed would have spontaneously combusted. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, she still hasn't met Reed, so she yeah, like Reed doesn't yeah. exist to her. Reed's actually the best. Like, I'm not kidding. Yes. I'm not being funny. Uh, he was just on me. He just like, picked me so today. Funny. And I'm still sad about you say that. Today it's every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every I know, day. I know, but that's that's. We're at one Chicago, and you're just honking your horn like, "Hey Reed, hey Reed, <laughs> hey Reed," and I'm walking next to him, and he's just holding his phone. I'm like, "You know, he's flicking you off, right?" He's like, "Yeah." I just, <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's all for talk footy today. Yeah. Next time we're gonna talk about NWSL playoffs, and we're gonna talk about uh, Division One college soccer playoffs, and do a little bracketology. Yeah, SDSU, baby. We're making a big dance this year. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Thank you for tuning in to...